بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب ضدنی علم و القنی بالصالحین فاطر السماوات والعرض انت ولی فی الدنیا و آخرہ توفنی مسلم و القنی بالصالحین آل نالج بلانگس ٹو المائٹی اللہ آل نالج کمس فرام ابا ہی از دا اونلی نیئر اونلی نور اللہ علیم بذات صدور He knows even the secrets hidden in our hearts. So all languages come from Almighty Allah. Man has been blessed with reason and some knowledge and naked observant eyes. He or she can see with them and look how the things appear to him or her. This world is full of knowledge right from Adam al Islam. When Adam was infused the soul of Almighty Allah, Allah asked him names of things. First he asked the angels who couldn't respond, couldn't answer. They said, we are unable to tell you names of these things. We have limited knowledge. When Adam was in the making, Allah made him learn names of many things. So he could tell names of all things present there. It means all knowledge or names of things come from Almighty Allah. These languages, which are now extant, present, and spoken, written, have been developed by human beings. And human beings have come to know these things through Almighty Allah, through books, through prophets, through common sense, and through knowledge. We human beings speak innumerable languages more than 170 countries and more than thousands of languages. For example, India, people speak more than 500 languages there, different dialects, and it's a miracle. We can understand how language develops. How did all these languages come from? How were they developed? It's a very interesting question. People mingled with one another. They interacted from one country to other, from one tribe to other, from one nation to other. And in this way, languages were developed. The same is very much true of the English language. It never was the language of England about 1100 years back. Some other languages were spoken there, which are now extinct or dead languages. This is one of the most borrowed language. Borrowed in the sense, means not a pure language. The only purest language of the world is none else but the Arabic language. Maybe because it's the language of angels, language of Almighty Allah who knows all the languages. He polylinguist, more than that. Maybe this is the language of the Holy Quran. This is the language of Arshim Allah. And this is the language of Muslims and people living in the Muslim world. So this is the only language, Arabic, that is the purest language. For example, English, it has borrowed lavishly, generously from the Latin language, the French language, the German, and many Indo-Asian languages. I'll give you some examples later. So with the interaction of people, this language developed two tribes earlier, about 1100s back, Anglo and Saxon invaded England and they brought with them their language. And already there was some languages spoken and written. With the merger or mixture of two languages or more than two, a new language came into being and that was called Anglo-Saxon or the Old English. After some time, two other tribes, Normans from Normandy and Northmen from Netherlands, formerly called Holland, they invaded England and they also brought with them their own language. Again, with the mixture of those languages, a new language rose or came to the horizon or came to the practice. It was the Middle English. Thenceforward, there were no more invasion of England and the language developed under its own in Paris. But three things took main place. They took place. One was the invasion of paper by China and printing press by William Caxton in a purpose in 1560, an Englishman. 
grammar was highly developed but little bit complicated vocabulary was immensely enriched with these three things manuscript form of books were brought to the press published and sent to libraries and books and markets for sale and for reading general public so in this way the english developed a lot now this language which we now is speak and write is quite modern language but it is still in development phase of development every day like mathematics physics chemistry other disciplines this language is also developing a lot and it will develop as the time goes on and on and on there are mainly three phases or ages of english literature and language i should say four classical age then age of queen elizabeth it is called renaissance age then age of queen victoria then early modern age and late modern age with these ages we come to know that english language has profusely or largely developed in vocabulary poetic diction novel literature criticism and much more so this language today is spoken in almost everywhere in the world has become almost international now words of his speech or parts of his speech whatever we say write think of are parts of his speech a small dictionary containing 50000 entries known as oxford advanced learners dictionary is 124th of the english dictionary 1 upon 24 it means 34 dictionary more are there that contain the english language the same is very much true of the cambridge dictionary also we have merriam chambers webster for american english they are replete with words full of words so all these englishes may be american british singapore english australian english canadian english new zealand english all these englishes contain a host of words of english vocabulary in the sense the english is very much rich in vocabulary because it has borrowed from the other languages without any hesitation or restriction the base of the english language is the latin language latin language is called grand mother mother of many european languages as we have sanskrit in india asia sanskrit was known as the grand mother of many asian languages many languages but it is a dead language now now we have latin it is in italy and much of the literature in poetry prose has been composed in the latin language for example john milton william shakespeare francis bacon to quote a few example they use latin profusely in their works and they are full of the latin language even law modern law science of law is full of latin words maybe prcb ppc other courts the all these legal books they hail from or come from or have been developed from the latin language so this language has greatly borrowed from the other languages that's why it is spoken written and it is very much referred to in international debates diplomatic affairs international law international commerce and trade in english there are four skills of english like all other skills and languages a small baby maybe hardly it can speak but it babbles tutlata hai bata hai it can't pronounce words clearly but it knows it has learned words from people with him or her for example mother nurse babysitter father and uncles etc so it just speaks words in a broken language without any sense so the first skill that we all use is the spoken english or a speaking skill after some time the same baby grows up and it starts speaking quite well smoothly and intelligibly then it listens with listening they come to know the meaning of words and pronunciations the first skill that everybody has to acquire is a listening skill 
then we have spoken skill. With speaking and listening, we come to know how to speak. The more we listen, the more we know how to speak the language. Regardless of the name of the language, Urdu, Hindi, Kachavari, Marwari, Gujarati, Punjabi, Sindhi, Latin, and so on. So with listening, we develop the sense of speaking. Then the third skill is reading. This comes in schools, colleges, and madrasas. We read through words. Words are composed of letters or alphabet. All languages have letters. For example, Chinese, Japanese, two very difficult languages in terms of characters and putting them down for making sense. Only those people can decipher them who have pretty good knowledge about the characters or letters or alphabet of the language. We have in Arabic, Urdu, Sindhi, almost same letters. And we have most of the words from the Persian language, Farsi Boli. So with these letters, we make words, with words, with sentences and paragraphs and so on. The fourth most difficult skill, very important, very difficult and very interesting skill, is writing skill. It comes with practice. It is not that easy, but it's not and not impossible. The more you read, the more you come to know how to write. Because readers are leaders. And those who read intensively and extensively can become very good writers. The people who are very good at writing are very good readers. According to dictionary, there are more than 11 meanings of words. Literal meaning, textual meaning, contextual meaning, Literary meaning, adabi, legal meaning, medical meaning, engineering meaning, poetic meaning, meaning of the understanding that you don't know the exact meaning of the word, but you come to know through situation. Let me give you an example. In Birkenhead drill, the ship strikes against the hidden rock and it is split into two. There are more than 175 women and children on board. It was early in the morning. The mountain was never shown in any map, nor was it ever discovered. So it was a critical situation. There were only three lifeboats. They were lowered, and all women and children were placed in the boats, and they sailed away. The remaining soldiers, in red-coated soldiers, they were just now waiting for death. And they knew that their ultimate destiny is death, nothing else. So keeping view in this, word, this thing in word, they were hanging on some wreckages, broken pieces of the ship. The commander of the troops, ships, was also hanging on some wreckage. He was OK. He saw you two young sailors who were struggling in the water for life. They wanted to save their life because now it was the, moment of life or death, and everybody has right to save himself. With this idea, everybody was struggling here and there. The commander, in order to save their lives, pushed the racket towards them, and all three held onto it. Commander realized that the racket was not strong enough to support three, so he let go his hold and sank into the sea. For living things, we do use drown. Why sink? Pastor sank. The situation used. Na commander ne dubara koi khud kushi ki hai, na kisi ko duboya hai. Do ki jaan bachane ke liye takta udhar kar diya aur khud ko bejaan karke chhod diya. To ham musan apne drown ke bajaye sink ka maaz kya istawal kya hai? Sank. This is situational meaning. Situation use. Otherwise, for living beings, we use drown. For non-living use, use sink, past and sank. So we have to bear in mind. What is the proper meaning of the word? And which one should be the most useful, suitable, and most proper in the given structure or sentence or syntax or situation? Then we have poetic diction. Now, poetic diction means words used in poetry. For boy, we have lad. For girl, we have lass, L-A-S-S. For poetry, we have verse, V-E-R-S-E. -E. A person has command or very good influence in the subject to it is his or her province. Usko usme ubur hasil hai, uska shoba hai. 
and also for singer we have monstrel m i n s t r e l for seas and oceans we have deep the deep gehra samandar so poetic diction has separate words besides these words also which there is r m w r but it is a particular diction that is used in poetry it is called poetic diction and with the help of poetic diction the poetic poets can create imaginative faculty imagination they can compare things to non living things and think and non living things living things and that is called personification personi so with comparison with beautiful word they can create image picture they can create something quite new before our eyes something just rising and falling it's all miracle of language poetry diction that make poetry beautiful and worth reading A story newspaper reading is a good art for improvement of english if you are good english daily reader you can enrich your vocabulary you can come to know lot of phrases and idioms there are about 25000 phrases and idioms in english and of the 19000 are standard or formal and 6000 are informal or non standard they are used in written english and in spoken english good advocates ambassadors diplomats businessmen teachers scientists they use those phrases idioms very suitably at proper places then there is story writing in a story we come to know what happened in the past some stories are really true some manipulated just created from your own but the tense of most of the stories is the same the past tense and they stick to it because most stories take place in the past and end in the past is speaking some sentences every day if you happen to speak some sentences every day you can become a good speaker if you feel shy you can speak to yourself in a mirror just stand before mirror and speak to yourself that will be a good idea of developing the speaking skill and you will won't feel shy when you speak to the people other way is that you speak to the person of your age your caliber your class or your reputation and don't feel shy don't hesitate what comes to your mind then go on speaking but do you don't have to abuse each other that is a bad thing most friends just abuse one another say what is happening so we are very fast friend we are close friend intimate intimate friends doesn't mean that you use foul language that is quite beyond norms and character the bad thing okay listening to english news bulletins broadcast on pakistan television now there are i think more than 100 channels uh, 200 and they are playing marvels doing very good in a short moment you can be contact with the president of america white house and in and uk president all are their program on tv you can enjoy yourself with their programs also listen to anchor persons persons who just anchor the program you see how they present the ideas how they raise questions how how the answers are coming nature of questions their answers in this way you can learn a lot the people who listen more can speak best people who listen more can speak well good listeners are good speakers sidoti be baba sit like a student listening to english news on bbc british broadcasting corporation and voice of america they are now most useful i think the 50 years back they were in practice now things have gone far you have so many channels so of way of listening to english programs vocabulary as a humble teacher of english having about 50 years teaching experience i would say half of the language is contained in vocabulary the more words you have the better your language is maybe whatever the language a scholarly language means literary language scientific language technical language legal language medical language in all languages you have to be good at when you really learn words and use them a word once used is remembered forever remember it and doubt plus dictionary is equal to correct spelling 
we all learn through dictionary books nobody is perfect english is the second language even now it has become third language because we are far from perfect in english the only way to improve language is the use of dictionary reading newspaper and listening to good teachers and scholars and anchor persons on tv radio we be face to face in the flesh vocabulary we have synonyms words having similar meaning for example study and read are similar reach and arrive are similar sing and crown when you sing maybe in a party or maybe here sitting among many people you are singing but you when you are in good mood especially in the bathroom <laughs> you croon what is urdu of croon apne aap ke sath gana urdu koi bataye na mere bhai itni baithi mashallah is corner baithi adib baithe allah mai ikbal ke time ke gun gunana sindhi bujhaya ho ni ji झुंगारण वेरी सॉरी सेट टू से उर्दू एंड सिंधी आर नाउ गेटिंग डाइंग लैंग्वेज ये खत्म होती जा रही है अफसोस की बात है कि अपने सिंधी के वर्ड्स ना आए उर्दू के वर्ड्स ना आए और हम यूनिवर्सिटी के शागिर्द हैं यार शागिर्द वेरी सॉरी वेरी पेटी एनी वे नॉलेज knowledge whatever you have to your credit it is knowledge and whatever you get from time to time maybe every now and then there is information knowledge jo paas ke paas hai wo hai information milti rehti hai usme add hoti rehti hai believe faith both means religion but whatever you are staunch faith believe that is called faith belief aqida iman faith religion mazhab dharm acronym when we take words antonyms means opposite meaning words love hate dark bright brave coward slow fast and so on having the opposite meaning dark bright strong weak up down come go rich poor they are antonyms of each other homonyms words having the same sound and pronunciations but have different meaning bat chamkadar bat balla plangistic bat jo verb bhi hai noun bhi hai fair mela fair man umda pen kalam pen chhota bada hota hai jo bakriyan bhed rakhte hain usko pen kehte hain pen means write down verb bhi hai wo is spelling cap topi aur cap short form bhi hai recap ka प्लेस करना किसी चीज़ से ढका होना स्नो कैप माउंटेन बर्फ पोश पहाड़ यहाँ वर्ब हो गया कैप द बॉटल इस्तेमाल के बाद बोतल को बंद कर दे कैप वर्ब है वही स्पेलिंग है चेयर कुर्सी सदारत करना ये बस की माना है एडवाइस मशवरा इट इज़ ऑलवेज यूज अ सिंगल लाइक फर्नीचर ब्रेड इंफॉर्मेशन दे आर ऑलवेज यूज सिंगल But if I say two advices, one bank advice, a yeah, bank advice, having some information, this will go to your account, this to your account. So these are called advices. Means information about bank credit or debit. इसको इसको हम एस मिला सकते हैं. But advice मशवरा ये कभी भी एस नहीं लेगा. ये ख्याल करें. बैक बैक पकाना और बैक पीट राइट रसम राइट सही क्लॉथ बगैर सिला कपड़ा भले गोदाम भरे हुए हो सी एल ओ टी एच ई सिला हुआ कपड़ा भले रुमाल हो या बहुत बड़ा कपड़ा हो सिला हुआ कपड़ा ई लेगा पेन पी ई एन कलम पेन दर्द ये होमोफोन होमो ये होमो होमोफोन है एक जैसा आवास पेन फ्राई पेन वगैरह होता है सुना आपने फिर पेन मैंने शीशा है विंडो पेन डोर पेन दरवाजे का शीशा है पी ए नहीं पेपर कागज़ न्यूज़पेपर की बना भी देता है 
फिर पेपर तीन किस्म के हैं वाइट पेपर ब्लैक पेपर स्वीट पेपर जो कूट के हम खाते हैं तो वेस्ट मगरब फिर वेस्ट अंडरवेयर या अंडर गारमेंट नीचे के कपड़े जो होते हैं पहनने के उसको वेस्ट कहते हैं फिर वेस्ट हमोफोन है वेस्ट मन जान वही आवाज़ है स्पेरिंग और है माना भी और है पैरोनीम्स मीन्स पेयर्स ऑफ वर्ड्स काउंसिल काउंसिल एडवाइस सी के साथ एस के साथ न्यू के एन ई डब्ल्यू न्यू के एन ई डब्ल्यू ड्रॉन डी आर ओ डब्ल्यू एन और डी आर ओ एन ई तकरीबन ये पेयर्स ऑफ वर्ड्स अलग अलग माना में इस्तेमाल होते हैं इनके लिए बड़ा ख्याल करना है कैसे इस्तेमाल करना है इनको एक्रोनीम वीन टेक अ वर्ड फ्राम फर्स्ट लेटर of the word and make one word that is pronounced is called acronym water and power development authority wabda unesco united nations education scientific cultural organization united nations international children emergency fund hasco lesco jo bijli ke aajkal hai alag alag ye ek ek acronym hai pehla letter le aur banaye ye acronym hai spelling unfortunately Our English language is very unfortunate language in terms of spelling. भले पी एच डी पास हो या ना हो स्पेलिंग के हम दुश्मन हैं स्पेलिंग के हम दुश्मन हैं बट देर इज रूम फॉर करेक्शन ओपन डिक्शनरी लुक अ मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड्स और स्पेलिंग एज वेल नो प्रॉब्लम डाउट प्लस डिक्शनरी इज इक्वल टू करेक्ट स्पेलिंग वाई वरी लेकिन यू डोंट वेरीफाई डोंट करेक्ट इट You have done your best. You studied law for years together. Your first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, very good. I salute you. But did you ever think what was wrong with you? Your spelling, your grammar, your word choice, your sequence. Everything went wrong. Gone are the days when person having forty percent mark was selected for railway group and retired at DS in twenty-two grade. Now the things have gone far. It's a tough competition, cutthroat competition. You have to bear in mind everything before sitting at the exam, whether you are able or not. If not, wait for some time. Then appear. Why waste time? Why waste attempt? CSS का एक नंबर एक एक लाख का है, एक attempt गरीब बच्चे के लिए एक करोड़ रुपए का है. इसको जाया नहीं करना है. And you people are fortunate to have been born in this age. आप तो मट्टी में आ डालो सोना हो जाए अल्लाह जानता है ऐसे दौर में पैदा हुए कमाल के बात है जो काम हम पचास साल में शायद नहीं कर पाए आप पाँच साल में कर सकते हैं यू कैन श्योर यू कैन आप ऐसे दौर में पैदा हुए ग्रामर रूल्स लर्निंग स्पेलिंग ऑफ वर्दी वर्ड्स बाय हर्ट एंड यूजिंग देम इन इन सेंटेंसेस दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड Grammar rules. Some people say there is no grammar in American English. How come? Grammar is just like head and body. As you cannot identify whose body is, it is when the head is gone. The same is true of the language. There cannot be language without grammar. It is as good as soul and body, or head and body. So there is always grammar language, especially the American English. If you happen to write a letter. or send a, an email to any american university about the programs they have funding financial assistance and the terms they have courses you want to join you will get later in 24 hours that be perfectly grammatical and meaningful and very good english so there is always language american english like canadian english both in same hemisphere they write very good english subject object subject singular takes verb plural subject singular takes verb singular and plural takes verb plural and also there should be agreement of subject and verb and object that is very important object can be a living thing or non living thing subject can be a living thing or non living thing use of verbs very important that to be verbs action verbs verbs of perception 
modal verbs and also forms of verbs. Every verb has four, five form. It is called paradigm of verb. Word paradigm in dictionary has two meanings. First meaning is the best example of something. Other meaning is forms of word or verb. For example, sit, past tense sat. Third form again sit. Sitting present participle. Then third person singular. In present indefinite tense we say sits. So we have sit, sat, sit, sitting, and sits. This is paradigm forms of words. And unfortunately, we are very poor in verb. P P A Y we write paid P A Y E D. Sir ne kaha E D lagao jaan chhodo. Se ka maji sayyad S A Y E D sayyad sayyad Bukhari. Se ka maji S A I D. What I refer to these are words in your composition. Mazak nahi kare. Aapki composition mein hote hain isliye keh rahe hain. अब बी ए इंटर पास भी अगर से का मरीज ए से वाई ए डी लिखे और पे का मरीज पी और ए डी लिखे तो हम कहाँ जाएँ किस दीवार में जाके सर टक रहे कहाँ गए पढ़ने वाले कहाँ गए पढ़ाने वाले अलग न इंजन की खूबी न कमा रहे ड्राइवर चली जा रही है खुदा के सहारे लेकिन ये यूनिवर्सिटी वो जगह है जहाँ से हमारे शागिर्द ये भी बी बी एम बी ए किया यहाँ से पी एच डी में गए डॉक्टर बन के आए यहाँ पढ़ा रहे ये वो जगह जहाँ से आप जा सकते हैं यू कैन बी वन ऑफ देम टू ऑफ देम थ्री ऑफ देम इवन ऑल ऑफ यू कैन बी देम ये ख्याल करना कैसा वक्त इस्तेमाल कर रहे कैसे गुजारा कर रहे अपने आप से पूछे नबी पाक ने फरमाया शाम को बिस्तर भी जाओ अपना एहतसाब करो मैंने दिन कैसे गुजारा है कितना अच्छा गुजारा कितना बुरा कितना फ़ायदेमंद था कितना नुकसानमंद था सबसे ख़तरनाक चीज़ जबान जिसका सबसे ज़्यादा हिसाब किताब होगा और सबसे ज़्यादा गुनाह बंदा जबान से करता है हदीस शरीफ के मुताबिक इससे मैंने क्या बात की आँख को कैसे इस्तेमाल किया पैसे को कैसे इस्तेमाल किया वक्त को कैसे इस्तेमाल किया एनर्जी को कैसे इस्तेमाल किया ये सब पूछा जाए मैं तबलीग करने नहीं आया हूँ पर दादा की उम्र का हूँ मेरी बात कुछ समझ में आएगी इन शयामत के दिन कोई भी आदमी अपनी जगह से नहीं हिल सकेगा जब तक तीन या चार सालों को जवाब नहीं देगा हदीस शरीफ है सुनना किन हदीसों में तीन दफ़ा किन में चार दफ़ा ज़िंदगी कैसे गुजारी बिलखसूस जवानी पैसा कैसे कमाया कैसे खर्च किया बड़ा मुश्किल सवाल बड़ा मुश्किल हम तो कोई जवाब नहीं दे पाएंगे तीसरा सवाल इल्म कितना हासिल किया शेक्सपियर या गोयटे या मिल्टन या इंजीनियरिंग मेडिकल मना नहीं है हलाल रोज़ी के लिए जायज़ है हम भी पचास साल से कर रहे हैं कोई मना नहीं है कहीं मना नहीं है लेकिन कौन सा इलम दीन का इलम कितना सीखा कितना अमल किया कितना लोगों तक पहुंचा है बिलीव इट नाट अल्लाह जानता है ऐसा महसूस करता हूं कि मैं खड़ा हूं मुझसे सवाल जवाब हो रहे हैं एक घड़ी के बाद क़्यामत है मुझसे सवाल जवाब हो रहे हैं थोड़ा सोचो नबी पाक से पूछा क़्यामत कब आएगी बोला जैसे इंसान की मौत होती है उसकी क़्यामत शुरू हो जाती है उसने आँख मींची क़्यामत उसकी शुरू होगी इसका पैरा मराना क्या है खबर वहाँ से शुरू है एनी Grammar rules, forms of verbs, kinds of sentences. From a structure point of view, we have five kinds of sentences: assertive, mana biyani, interrogative, imperative, optative, exclamatory. ये पांच किस्म हैं. Grammar की construction इलाज simple sentence, compound sentence. कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस एंड कंपाउंड कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस इस लिहाज को नौ किस्म के जुमले हो गए और जुमला बनाते वक्त आप अंदाज़ा लगाएं कितनी मेहनत करनी पड़ती है वो डोंट हैव सिंपली टू स्पिल इंक ऑन पीस ऑफ पेपर सिर्फ स्याही बखेरना नहीं है देखने में लिख क्या रहा हूँ ये कुछ माना भी बन रही है नहीं बन रही है लाहौर गए बड़ी मेहनत की बड़े पापड़ बेले जनाब अकेडमिया अटेंड की और जनाब हमने ऐसे किया बाहर निकले पता चला भाई भाई कैसा है पेपर हुआ भाई साठ नंबर तो कहीं नहीं गए सठ मार्क तो खींच है मैंने पुट है मार्क है आयो इट इज़ फैक्ट मतलब मलती भी समझा हो जो वाह खबर इन्हें कम किथे पहुंची पुलिस स्टाफ कितने की तो लफ्ज़ कड़ो अचो आ का वजनो आ 
वनो लाहौर आ गाड़ी कराची में वेठो आ मां टॉपिक कुछ तो चे लिखा मां कुछ तो खिलन जी गाल ना है उनन या फारस बुधा जिन पजी जिंदगी बिना छडी पजी आने चुप कई मां अगर मास्टर कन था पिया यस दिस ऑल नॉनसेंस कुछ सोचे क्या कर जिंदगी बड़ी कीमती है ये बड़ी कीमती चीज दोबारा नहीं आएगी ये एक दफा ही मिलेगा ये और बात है कि ये भाई 50 साल में गया मैं 80 साल तक जिंदा हूं लेकिन 80 साल वाला के हिसाब बहुत भारी है जितनी उम्र होगी उतना हिसाब होगा पल पल का मजाक नहीं समझे इस बात को फॉर्म्स ऑफ सेंटेंस देयर आर नैरेशन मींस डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच नैरेशन नैरेशन मींस गुफ्तगु टॉक इट्स अप टू कैंड डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट वॉइस एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस वी प्रेफर पैसे वॉइस बिकॉज उसमें ऑफ भी होता है बाई भी होता है वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म भी होती टू बी फॉर्म भी होता है ऐसा तो नहीं है गुड इंग्लिश इज ऑलवेज इन एक्टिव वॉइस पैसे वॉइस ग्रामर का हिस्सा है ये जरूरी नहीं है एंड सम सेंटेंस यू हैव टू यूज पैसे वाली द मेल इज अराइव द ट्रेन इज अराइव गेस्ट आर सर्व ये पैसे होगा वन एक्टिव वॉइस सबसे बेहतरीन लैंग्वेज है टेंसेस बारह टेंस सिंपल मना इनडेफिनेट कंटिन्यूस परफेक्ट फिर परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस हर टेंस के चार तीन चौक बारह बारह टेंस है हमारे यहाँ तो टेंस का पता ही नहीं चलता ये शुरू कथों करे तो वहीं कहते तो चबे छाते थे इसका सर पेयर क्या है पता नहीं चलता यार ये तो चलो अल्लाह ने आपको बारहवीं में पहुँचा दी अल्लाह आपको यहीं से पी एच डी कराएगा आमिन कहो लेकिन कभी सोचा है कि आठवीं से ले कर बारहवीं तक कैसे क्या किया कैसे आ गए इन दो साल का तो हमें पता है कि नवीं दसवीं में मैं धका दे दिया ग्यारहवीं बारहवीं बोर्ड ने मेहरबानी कर दी ताड़ी वजू पुट इंटर पास करे हो कैसे इंटर पास किया यार वो आपको पता है सर वही लास्ट फोर ईयर्स चार साल का नुकसान करके हम यहाँ आएँ लेकिन चलो पीछे जाएँ वी गो बैक स्कूल साइड में कभी तो कोई टीचर इंग्लिश का मिला होगा कभी तो कोई टीचर जरूर मिला होगा कोई भी भले उस बेचारे एक्टिवाइज पैसा सिखाए कुछ जुमले सिखाए कुछ कम कराए होंगे लाजमी कराया होगा ऐसी बात नहीं अब भी इस उजाड़ में वीराने में टीचर हैं अभी सहरा में नखलिस्तान है हाँ अभी भी कंजूस कंजूसी के दौर में नफसान में भला करने वाले लोग पढ़े पहले तो बहुत आसान था हमारे प्यारे इस सौ रुपये में रिटायर हो गए शायद पेंशन भी उनको पंद्रह बीस रुपये मिलती थी साठ साल पहले की बात कर रहा हूँ जब हमारे प्राइमरी टीचर कोई रिटायर हुए चलो पचास साल पहले अब तो नौ एच एस सी टीचर गेटिंग वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पर पर मंथ डेढ़ लाख पघार है उसकी और आगे वो जाके एक करोड़ रुपये ग्रेचुटी लेगा दो लाख रुपये पेंशन लेगा है ना बराबर फिर तो उसको पढ़ाना चाहिए ना उसको तो क्लास के बाद भी पढ़ाना चाहिए उस कौम ने उस पर एहसान किया है और टीचर नेवर डाइज चीफ सेक्रेटरी रिटायर हो जाएगा ख़त्म हो जाएगा ब्यूरोट चला जाएगा कोई पूछेगा नहीं चार दोस्त मिल जाएंगे टीचर तो वो तो दिमाग में हुकूमत करते हैं टीचर दिल पे हुकूमत करता है दिल में रहता है टीचर की बड़ी किंगडम है बड़ी किंगडम तो उसको तो चाहिए तो जान कुर्बान करे पढ़ाए फ्री में भी पढ़ाए अकेडमी में फ्री में भी पढ़ाए इस कौम कहाँ पर बड़ा आसान है इस कौम ने बहुत कुछ दिया है ये आगे चल के मामार बनेंगे सियासतदान बनेंगे वजीर बनेंगे ये पैगाम और आगे पहुँचाएंगे तो ट्राई टू मैक बेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ये बड़ा कीमती टाइम है इसका फायदा ले अच्छा नरेशन वॉयस पैसिव एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेस असर्टिव को नेगेटिव करना नेगेटिव को असर्टिव करना है इंटरेगेटिव को बयानी करना है बयानी को इंटरेगेटिव करना है समझिए और बड़े ग्रामर की बड़ी पार्टी पढ़ी है बहुत अच्छा ग्रामर पढ़ा है Language learning through direct methods. In olden days, we used to teach language through translation, use our vocabulary in different sentences, transforming sentences, and so on. Now the methods have completely changed. Now teacher is just controller of the class, motivator of the class. He just looks after. The students are all, all in all. They make teacher teach them wherever they have any problem. So teacher is just a a kind of person who launches a program but it is the student who culminated it make it successful 
through cross discussion, writing, and asking very good questions. Dictionary usage, a very important thing. It is a piece of advice from my side. Don't use electronic dictionary. It affects your eyesight. It's very dangerous. Use it when you when you don't have book language or book dictionary or paper dictionary before you, or when you are traveling, you need somewhere. It's okay, but often not. Not very often. Writing something every day, you can be a very good writer if you happen to write something. Maybe about yourself. That how did you pass time? About your parents, country, friend. There are so many topics to write on. There are concrete topics. There are abstract topics. Concrete means things having physics, existence. This is concrete. This is concrete. But if I say write on love, hatred, patriotism, honesty, piety, these things don't have physical existence. You have to create them from your own mind. And for that, what do you need? You need vocabulary. Where does the vocabulary come from? Through reading again. Through reading. If you are a good writer, reader, you can be a good writer. The British English, that is across the United Kingdom. Formerly, there are four parts of UK: England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. Now, Ireland is an independent country with its own constitution and currency and everything. Now we are left with England, the biggest part, having capital there, London, and Wales and Scotland. It is called British English, but mainly English that has very good dialects and is spoken very much there. It the English is spoken written in England, mainly Oxford and Cambridge University. They are very historical, very old universities. John Milton, Thomas Gray, they studied there about five hundred years back. The American English, three main differences between British and American English: difference of spelling, difference of pronunciation, and difference of grammar. A little bit difference. For example, they don't have many relative pronouns and relative adverbs. They are there, but they don't use them very much. He is the man taught me English. He is the man who taught me English. This is a book I want. This is a book that I want. So the relative pronouns they. Omit in most cases. Writing personal diary every day about your daily activities. Differences between I already mentioned writing letters in English to your friends. If you have friends, you write to them in English. Maybe informal English, very free, frank. You don't have to be very great a scholar or legal advisor or a man knowing literary terms and formulas. Be simple. Whatever comes to your mind, just put it down, and then see where are you going. If there is room for correction, correct or rewrite it. Correction and rewriting is the best way. I give you an example of this novel, The Heart of Darkness. The title of the novel. You can write it. It's available on net. It's about Life of people in Africa. Writer is Joseph Conrad. It's a masterpiece. I often give example of this novel because I happened to study this when I studied in Canada. He wrote this novel for seventy-two times, or seventy times. Once his friends asked him, "Joseph, what about that novel you are after?" He said, "I wish I had some more time to go over it again and again, but I don't have that much time." So after having written or revising it seventy-two times, he sent the copy, his manuscript copy of the novel, to press for publish, publish, and it was published and became bestseller of its time, bestseller. जिनकी अपनी बोली है नेटिव राइटर सत्तर बहत्तर दफा लिखा है रीराइट किया फिर भेजा है पब्लिश को. What was the reason? क्या ग्रामर कमजोर था? वो कैमने थी टेंस नहीं आते थे स्पेलिंग नहीं नहीं यू वॉन्ट इट इम्प्रूव इट आई रोट इट अगेन एंड अगेन अगेन चैनिंग सेंटेंस सिचुएशन वर्ड्स एंड सो ऑन इन नावल यू क्रिएट आइडियाज यू मैक कैरेक्टर स्पीक ऑन योर बिहाफ यू आर द पर्सन 
who gives ideas to characters and characters the person who say what you mean to the reader that is very good communication is a great art of writing charles dickens have looked at his novels he wrote masterpieces why because of ideas imaginative faculty his characters presentation plot and situation so these things come with hard labor very good hard labor using difficult words in sentences take it send it down addition go through international affairs current affairs national affairs take difficult words write down in your book or diary look up look for look up their meaning in the dictionary see how the words are used words are used in different meaning with same spelling same situation and context and using words in different meaning is a great art and this comes when you practice them practice makes man perfect is speaking before a mirror that is the way to break your hesitation and make you feel that you can speak fluently and smoothly is speaking before classmates and you have been here i think for about 6 weeks you have presentations here haven't you you feel easy alhamdulillah is speaking before large audience if i have to speak to students i use scientific language how come they would understand my topic is the english language talk about novel all the time for example i go on speaking about novel maybe one novel that will be quite a strange on my part i have to be to the topic and I speak to the level of the audience for agriculture audience we have to use agricultural language for scientists scientific language for literary literary language and so on and also the level the scholarship learning knowledge level that is also very important take part in audi- in speeches debates and declamation if you are asked to make any speech on any topic you come one by one and speak on the topic in debate you have to speak for and against and declamation is what be emotional maybe sometimes glass goes there mic goes here say bitho just what emotional speech par itna bhi emotional nahi ki aap bahar nikal jaye dekhne wale pareshan ho jaye sai ko kya ho gaya yes yes hmm. think before you speak pray before you say bolne se pehle tolo bolne se pehle socho very important when you think twice once twice thrice you go very well very well you speak deliberately and confidently deliberately mana carefully confidently mana with confidence don't feel shy mere khayal aaj ke zaman mein to kisi ko sharm nahi aayegi inshaallah taala khuda na khasta aa bhi jaye koi baat hi nahi koi fark nahi hai don't be afraid dispel your self imposed fear self imposed job ne apne aap mein musallat kiya hai ya radio to re meeting log bade kya kahenge are to kho bhi velan gala hai hai na barabar badi achhi speech to aisi hoti kabhi kabhar ki badi achhi speech kar jaye jo chhodne se tala acha gala hai to bar puch de baba bhai ko samjhe mai gala hai mukhe mein khabar nahi bacha gala hai this good speech then why worry jab aapka topic hai sab kuch hai go on speaking to so bargi we all make mistakes no problem yaar but the speakers world renowned speakers winston churchill abraham lincoln king martin luther too jd buto some other barack obama uh, obama they made wonders marvels but they were not great speakers from the beginning not from the womb of their mother from birth they learned with gradually slowly and gradually with practice halat ne sikhaya unko logo se suna kuch padha mutala kiya became marvelous speakers ab tak unki speeches hai vincent chacher ki speech saath mein ki jo hai log abhi tak sunte hain ye lafz kahan se laya bale unke martin luther i have a dream i have a dream sunne wali speech hai hamare textbook mein bhi thi wonderful speech wonderful manchila don't feel shy reading for fun maze ke liye padhna 
पढ़ने के लिए पढ़ना जिसमें इंटरटेनमेंट हो और इंस्ट्रक्शन लिटरेचर की तीन चीज़ें हैं एक इंटरटेन करता है और दूसरा वो इंस्ट्रक्टिव होता है और तीसरा टाइम सेविंग होता है जस्ट टाइम सेविंग स्पेंडिंग टाइम इन लैविश थिंग्स और मे भी खराफात में लगवियात में ब्लास्ट फैमी में या वल गैरिटी या सैनिटी में दीज आर वेरी बैड थिंग्स यू पीपल शुड बी अबाउ ऑल दीज थिंग्स दिस इज द टाइम ऑफ मैकिंग योर फ्यूचर दिस इज टाइम ऑफ मैकिंग योर लाइफ ये ऐसा वक्त चल रहा है बड़ा प्यारा वक्त चल रहा है मन ऐसा होगा कार वहाँ गुजर गया खुबा गुबार देखते रहे गाड़ी निकली होंगे धुआं मिट्टी होंगी छड़ा दूर जो कुछ नहीं होता मरने वाले की हिचकी को ज़रा गौर से सुन मरने वाले की हिचकी को ज़रा गौर से सुन कि सारी उम्र का खुलासा इसी में है इसी में हमने मरने वालों की आंखों में आंसू भी देखे हालांकि वो सूर्य नजा की हालत में होता है सकरात में होता लेकिन फर्श तो उसको बताते हैं कि तू कहाँ जा रहा है अभी यहाँ की मंजिल ख़त्म हो गई है ये ट्रेलर था असली ज़िंदगी अभी शुरू हो रही थी असली ज़िंदगी जो ना तमाम है ये तमाम थी वो ना तमाम सीजलेस कोई इंतहा नहीं थी राइटिंग रिवाइजिंग एंड री राइटिंग एज आई जस्ट गेव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस जोसेफ कॉन्ड देखा है री राइट क्या फिर रिवाइज क्या इफ यू हैपन टू सेट एट कम्पिट एग्जाम एंड यू आर सेटिसफाइड विद योर वर्क गो ओवर इट अगेन एंड अगेन मैक नेसरी करेक्शन कहाँ काम आए कहाँ फुल स्टॉप कम है कहाँ कंप्यूटर लेटर आना चाहिए था कहाँ गलत हुई स्पेलिंग गलत हो गई है कहाँ स्ट्रक्चर पूरा गलत है काट के दोबारा लिखे डो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं वी आर मेक करेक्शन अच्छे नंबर आएंगे अच्छे नंबर मुमकिन है जिसमें छः आ जाए उसमें साठ आ जाए वो इरीटेट नहीं होगा करेक्शन बड़ा ज़रूरी है लेकिन तब होगा जब आप यू गो और इट अगेन टाइम निकाल के ढाई घंटे लिखा आधा घंटा ठीक करो उसको कर करो रूट वर्ड्स रूट वर्ड्स आर वर्ड्स वी बारो फ्राम अदर लैंग्वेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल डॉर्म डॉम मीन स्लीप वी डॉर्मेंट डॉर्मेंसी डॉर्मेटरी लॉर्ज हॉल्स मैन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड सोल्जर्स वेर दैट टेक रेस्ट ऑफ वर्क इज अ डेंट मीन्स दांत डेंट और डेंटिस डेंटिस सर्जरी डेंटिस्ट्री फ्राम लेटिन वर्ड लेटिन वर्ड फॉर्म कर्ज फॉर्मल फॉर्मेलिटी फॉर्मेंस परफॉर्मेंस फ्राम से रफ्ट मीन्स ब्रेक इंट शीराजे को टूटना रखना डालना बैंक रफ्ट करप्ट इंटरप्ट फ्राम रफ्ट मीन्स ब्रेक बैंक रफ्ट सी दिवालिया समझे ये कम फ्राम रूट वर्ड ये है रफ्ट मतलब ब्रेक so most words come from other languages for example i give you four examples of first year book the english language title of the lesson the first word the last page of the lesson is admiral originally word comes from arabic word amiral means amir al bahar the highest post of naval force so from amir al bahar they made amiral later some misguided english scholars thought that d was missing in the first syllable syllable mean a part of word that comes on the tip of a tongue while writing usko sindhi urdu mein pad kehte hain lafz ka hissa to unhone dekha yahan d missing hai to fir amiral ko unhone kar diya admiral so this word originally comes from the arabic language amir al bahar The second word on the third page is yacht. Y a c h t means fast hunting boat. Tez shikar raftari. Tez raftar shikari kasti. The Dutch people gave yacht to their king as a wedding gift. So this word originally comes from the Dutch language. It's unusual as far as spelling and pronunciation concerned, but it is from the Dutch language. Third word is. sandwich samosa pakora this comes from the earl of sandwich and we are khan bahadur choudhry wadera sai suno this word comes from the earl of sand earl of amir nawab rais from the hierarchy 
रॉयल हार्की ऑफ ब्रिटिश जिसमें अर्ल भी है बैरन भी है ड्यूक भी है डचेस भी है लॉर्ड भी है दिस कम्स फ्राम दैट एर की सो दिस पर्सन वॉज अर्ल ऑफ सैंडविच बड़ी जागीर स्टेट थी ही वॉज ए हैबिचुअल गैमर ए कंटिन्यूड गैमलिंग थ्रू आउट नाइट विदाउट स्टॉपिंग फॉर डिनर और लंच और सफर सो इस सर्वेंट इनमेटेड काइंड ऑफ मील ए टुक टू पीसेस ऑफ ब्रेड एंड फ्रिट सम इन साइड मे बी टोमेटो पीसेस आनियन रिंग्स एग एंड सो ऑन and he gave that sandwich to his master to have and go on gambling with gambling so this word comes from the earl of sandwich fourth word on that page is television tele from greek vn from latin to see far up dur darshan pare ki cheez ke kareeb dekhna on this pattern we have tele business telephone telepathy telecasting telecaster all these things telepathy from tele and other word so in this way the english language has developed a lot with the passage of time now learning phrases and idioms with just the meaning and uses as i told these phrases and idioms make marvels in language like other languages this language is very much rich in phrases and idioms it is 25000 at least you should learn 500 at least on this level to be good at english in using present idioms last point is watching historical adventure english and american movies i think you people already are engaged in security i need not mention it always there are movies and films on television now who full cinema is in our pocket mukamil cinema jeb mein now it is very hard to control but always see that you get the positive benefit from this devices or scientific inventions if you go astray you lose your career if you on the right track you enjoy life okay